Hello and welcome to the News Hour on Sook News, your choice station for developmental news around the globe. I am Lavina Emma. In a bid to improve customs efficiency and strengthen global competitiveness, Nigeria's customs chief, Wale Adeni, has announced plans for a time-release study to speed up cargo clearance and boost trade. TRS, a global tool by the World Customs Organization, aims to streamline the process from goods arrival to release. Previous attempts in 2010 and 2018 led to recommendations like an authorized economic operator, operator program and a single system window. This initiative, starting at Tinkan Island Ports, involves methods like the AEO program and advanced ruling. World Custom Organization Secretary General Lan Saunders emphasized TRS benefits in measuring release times, identifying trade flow bottlenecks, and enhancing collaboration for efficient supply chains. Following Shell's recent divestment, Total Energies has announced plans to offload its minority stake in a significant Nigerian onshore oil venture, a move following Shell's recent divestment. The, the CEO, Patrick Puyani, stated this during a presentation of the company's financial results. According to the CEO, the company is looking to restructure its portfolio since producing oil in the Niger Delta has become difficult. He further stated that the company intends to retain its Nigerian gas assets considering them for the company's future expansion and liquefied natural gas development over the upcoming years. Shell Petroleum Development Company of Nigeria Limited, in which Total Energies holds a 10% interest, has struggled with numerous onshore oil spills stemming from theft, sabotage and operational challenges resulting in expensive repairs and notable legal battles over the years. The Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, Mele Kiari, and the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Olayemi Kadosu, has met to review the decision of the oil company to domicile a significant portion of its revenues and banking services with the Apex Bank. They acknowledge the mutual benefits of this arrangement in particular in enhancing NNPC's limited management of its cash holdings and limits in commercial banks as set by the board of directors. In a joint statement by NNPC Limited's Chief Corporate Communications Officer Olufemi Shonoye and CBN's Acting Director of Corporate Communications Hakama Sidi Ali, it was revealed that the bank has provided improved digital platforms and establish specific limits to manage NNPCL transactions. Both parties pledge to strengthen their collaboration further to ensure the smooth operations of NNPC Limited, while affirming that the company will maintain banking transactions with commercial banks as necessary. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited, NNPCL, has held talks with the South Korean Consortium on the development of a gas project in Nigeria. The discussions held in South Korea were aimed at deepening NNPCL drive to tap into the nation's gas resources, to be a supplier of clean and affordable energy to the global markets. South Korea is a major destination for liquefied natural gas exports and consortium. In collaboration with Korean Export Imports Bank, has expressed interest in advancing discussions in investing greenfield and all the gas development opportunities. The talk will lead to a memorandum of understanding that will unlock strategic foreign direct investments in line with the policy of making, a Niger of making Nigeria a prime destination for global investors. And still in Nigeria, Nigerian Naira has recently depreciated against the U.S. dollar in both official and parallel markets due to demand pressures. The Central Bank of Nigeria policies aim to strengthen the currency. 
Official data reveals a 4.1% drop, closing to 1,479 naira 47 to a dollar, with a notable increase in forex turnover to $321.23 million, signaling growing activity yesterday. External reserves holding steady at $33 billion indicate stability, while the official exchange rate has surpassed 1,400 naira per dollar since, since January. In parallel markets, the dollar sold for as high as 1,500 to $1. Cryptocurrency markets also show resilience, also show resilience trading at 1,000 489 Naira to $1. Nigeria's hedging against inflation increasingly opts for dollar assets, reflecting confidence in forex markets amid CBN's efforts to attract inflows with higher treasury bill rates. The Nigerian government has unveiled 2,500 units housing plan in Ibeju Leki coastal city of Lagos. This was disclosed by the Minister of Housing and Urban Development, architect Musa Dangiwa, at the inauguration of three 102 unit projects in Abuja Kasana districts. The housing project, named Renewed Hope Cities and Estate Program, aims to construct 50,000 units across every region in the country. The minister highlighted organic designs allowing for future expansion and outlined financing through budgetary allocations, through budgetary allocation support for the Federal Mortgage Bank and strategic partnerships. Ownership options including mortgage loans and rent to own plans.